Good morning everyone, or whenever you're watching this, happy Super Bowl Sunday if you're watching it today. Uh, today we're going to take a look at my 55 gallon breeding fish for profit aquarium. And uh, a lot of people have been asking for an update, so here it comes. Okay, so here we are looking at the 55 gallon breeding fish for profit. Uh, a lot of people have been requesting an update on this tank, so I'm going to do that now. Uh, the reason I don't do very many updates on this tank is because nothing ever changes. It's basically been the same since I've set it up. So guppies, plecos, and uh, cherry shrimp. There's a few there. Sorry about that. Here's one of the big uh, females here. Another one back here. Lots of albinos. Uh, basically all I've been getting lately is albinos. Which is kind of weird. I just fed them. It's a little cloudy, but uh, this is what it looks like when I don't do a water change uh, for a week. Normally I do one on Saturday and on Wednesday, but uh, I miss this Wednesday, so it does get a little cloudy in here, but the parameters are just fine. Uh, it runs, pH is a little lower than I would like it, but it's, it's right at seven, it's neutral, but I'd like it a little higher. So I'm gonna start my water change, so uh, sit tight. So this is basically all I do, is I just drop a water pump in there and pump the water out. Uh, clearly I cannot gravel vac this or I will be graveling up or vacuuming up just a ton of shrimp. So this is the only way I do it and then I do remove uh, duckweed by hand every time. So I just kind of scoop it up over here in the corner. Normally this will scare off any shrimp that are floating in there. And then I just kind of grab a handful and throw it out. Not too much in here this time because I removed a lot of it last week. But I still try to keep up with it. I also try not to scoop up any snails when I'm doing that because the snails are puffer food. I haven't taken any guppies in for probably a week now, maybe two weeks, because I did kind of decimate their population in December, so I'm just letting them build back up. So it used to bother me when I'd find the black ones or ones like this here, and I used to pull them out, uh, but not anymore. They pretty much sell for the same amount. The only ones I'll pull out now, um, like this guy here with the bent spine, that unfortunately I do have to pull out, but anything with like the black fins or mist color, I just keep them in there. Like I said, I get the same amount of store credit no matter what they look like, so <laughs> I just don't put the time into it anymore. And it's not like I'm trying to create show guppies here, so. I guess I could talk to you about uh, what I get. I know I've explained this in other videos, but for the males, um, I get a dollar fifty store credit, and for the females, I think I get a dollar, or maybe it's the other way around. Either way, so I usually what I'll do is wait till I have thirty of each, and uh, take them in and trade them in. It usually uh, I can do that every two to three weeks, uh, except in December I was doing it every week. The uh, bushy nose plecos, if I can find any, some hanging out on the back wall. But at the uh, like two inch mark, that's generally when I take them in, like this one here. That's one I would take in and I get uh, $2.50 for those. And I'll usually, uh, I'm usually able to take in about 10 of those at a time too, at the same time as my guppies. And the cherry shrimps, I actually just sell locally. I don't trade those in, because uh, these are not really 
high quality shrimp we're talking about here. But I still get a dollar each for these and I'll sell them in like 20 packs for $20. And I don't, uh, I don't guarantee anything. I just take a scoop of them. So you could get, oops, of course. So you can kind of see the wide range. You can get just like a normal, you know, brown. Well, there's definitely some nice dark ones in here too. So you get what you get when I sell those. So I also use this time to pick out a bunch of snails here. Throw them in there for them and see what happens. Yeah, there he goes. Not quite on Murphy status yet, but he'll get there. Well, I don't know if you guys heard that one. That was a loud crunch. Ooh, that one was pretty bloody. Still got a few more there, buddy. Ugh. <laughs> that one was bloody, too. One more hiding there. Oh, yeah, he saw that one come down. how fat he's getting. Look at that belly. That's it, buddy. I think you got them all. A big old gut hanging down. Look like me now. So we're filling her back up, and you can instantly see the difference in the water, clearly, right? Maybe it's part of this daily video challenge, I'll do daily water changes. Obviously not 75%, but I wonder what would happen if I did like a 25% water change every single day for the rest of the month. I bet this guppy grass would go insane. Not to mention all my plecos would grow a lot faster. Although, just thinking about doing that on top of daily videos, uh, probably not going to happen. <laughs> One of the reasons I didn't get water changed on Wednesday this week is because I was editing videos and reading 4,000 comments. <laughs> so, while I'm waiting for that to fill, uh, show off my babies here. You kind of see the fry swimming around. This is by far the longest these fry have ever survived. Normally they're gone in just a couple days, but we're at like a week and a half now with the fry. I think definitely well over a week, maybe even two weeks. And it's just, it's gotta be because all the plants are providing way more cover. Granted they're out in the open now, but their parents are bringing them out to feed on all this BBA, black beard algae. So yeah, this tank's still looking really good in my opinion. The uh, high grow is doing very well, which is kind of surprising. Only because it came from a high tech tank and this is certainly a low tech tank. So I'm, I'm glad that it seems to be transitioning well. Hopefully I didn't just jinx it. All right, there you have it. Night and day difference. Just a quick little water change that took about a half hour well not a little water change but yeah so that took about 30 minutes and this just looks way better part of that is I did take out a lot of duckweed which does kind of once this is all layered in duckweed up here it does kind of make like a green tint in my water so that doesn't help but it's definitely way clearer I mean that's pretty obvious so in case anyone is wondering, uh, under here the substrate is all eco-complete. This used to be before it was my breeding fish for profit aquarium. 
This was my growing plants for profit aquarium. Uh, so the substrate is eco. -com Since then, uh, I have added crushed coral, so that's the white stuff here. So I guess you could say eco complete, capped by crushed coral, and well, fish poop. All this brown stuff here, nasty brown stuff. I'll tell you one thing, you can definitely see the shrimp a lot better now. There's just a ton of shrimp in this guppy grass. Even in the, uh, oh, like they hiding in there. You know, all through here. Just thousands of shrimp in here. And for the people that ask on every video or every time I show this tank, uh, I am not shipping, so you can message me and ask me how much they are and how much to ship, but I'm going to say what I'm saying now. I'm currently not shipping any fish, shrimp, possibly plants, but it's just so much easier to sell it locally. There's no hassle. So uh, yeah, don't hate me too much. Uh, maybe, like I said, once it's not freezing out and warms up a little, you know, I'm going to think about shipping fish, but until then... I'm not gonna start when it's freezing weather out. And I've been saying that all winter, but we got new people here, so just a little update, a little information for you guys. Well, there you go. I hope uh, you guys had fun and learned a little something about my breeding fish for profit tank and maybe something that can help you out. I hope everyone has fun today. I hope your team wins. I particularly don't care who wins. I just wanna eat some nachos. Okay, so on to today's channel of the day, and I'm going to direct you guys over to Mark's Shrimp Tanks. Now, I've been watching this channel for quite a while. It uh, seems to be blowing up pretty fast right now. He's almost at 5,000 subscribers, so let's see if we can help get him there. But uh, he has a lot of cool stuff. Even if you're not into shrimp, he has a lot of DIY, a lot of reviews, really cool, neat, like, drip system, rain simulator type of setup which is awesome so yeah he just does a lot of cool stuff and he has a really sweet accent so yeah I certainly enjoy it so head on over there the link will be popping up here soon and as always I will see you all tomorrow